Hello, Andrew. I'm feeling a little thirsty. I was wondering if I could pop by. Andrew, this is a great time. Come on by. Okay, we'll see you soon. On today's episode of the Wine Estates Club, I head over to Paradiso Estate Winery to meet Joe Perry, who's been kind enough to invite me over to sample some new wine. He's been at the property for around 20 years and been making wine for most of his life. I can't wait to see what he's got for me today. Joe, thanks for having me over here today. What, what is that thing and, and what are we doing here? Well, this, I won't beat you with it, but it's just called a thief. A thief? Yes, it steals the wine from the barrel, puts it in your glass. Okay, and, and what kind of variety are we tasting today? Today we're drinking, or we're going to taste rather, a Cabernet Sauvignon 2016. Oh, beautiful. A lot of rich fruit flavors to it. I think you'll enjoy it. Should be able to smell a lot of the uh, rich aromas coming off of that. Raspberries, strawberry flavors. It's delicious. And give it a go. Wow. That's very nice. Very fresh. Right. And this is a Cab Sauv, right? But you have a Cab Merlot that I believe is available right now that I had uh, a 2012. 2012, in my opinion, was the best year uh, in Ontario. So why do you think your wine is so popular? Being on the escarpment is a tremendous advantage. We're known as the St. David's Bench, which is a short stretch of the escarpment uh, from Niagara Falls to Beansville, approximately uh, that area there. But also, Andrew, we, we barrel age our, uh, our red wines for approximately 24 months, which gives it flavors of, you know, caramel, butterscotch, dark chocolate. And plus, you gotta remember, we're on the escarpment, water drains, and it's got a rich limestone base. Joe, we talked about why Niagara-on-the-Lake is such a great place for you and your winery to grow here. But what makes Niagara-on-the-Lake so popular for the average grower? We're very fortunate in this area to be located between two great lakes and the escarpment. So what happens is known as the lake effect, where the warm airs off of Lake Ontario would start to climb over the properties, over the land, and start to rise over the, uh, up to the top of the escarpment. But as that's happening, you get the cold air from the top of the escarpment coming down because all the cold air sinks and you get this cyclical collision which creates cyclical air currents. Okay, well, I mean, that uh, makes perfect sense, especially for me because uh, I'm a scientist and all, but the, all I know is that this wine is very good. So Andrew, we have, we have a great philosophy here. Uh, we believe to embrace nature, love life, and drink, drink great, great wine. wine.